I'm a little drunk. What's up, everybody? I'm Captain Spanx. We're playing The Outer Worlds, and I don't have coffee today. I already drank a bunch of coffee, but I do have a coffee porter. 6.5% uh, alcohol, and I poured it into a frosty glass because that's what you do. And I also had another beer, for, and these are both from my local brewery. Uh, they made it in-house. They're very good. I'm a little buzzed. So, anyway. Okay, I'm also very tired, long work day, but... Um, I thought about it. I didn't look anything up, right? But I thought about it long and hard. <clears throat> and I think I'm actually... I reloaded the save. And I think I'm actually going to go and help the corporation? <sighs> God, I feel dirty even saying that. Uh, I don't know why. Pravardi's like stressing it. So I think maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Or maybe that's the good guy option. So I'm going to help the corporation. I'm going to be a corporate stooge. Punk is dead. It's true. Alright. Oh, I feel dirty. Okay. Status. Redirect power. Uh, continue. And so we're going to direct it to Edgewater. Also, it's the first option of the two. So I think this is the quote-unquote paragon choice. I don't know. Maybe this game's like Witcher and aren't really good and evil. But let's do it. Alright. You happy, Vivardi? I sold out. I sold out. I did it for you, girl. I did it for you. Alright, where you at? Also, I went off camera. I looted this whole place. It took forever. It's very confusing. I think you did the rightest thing you could sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. <sighs> people I care for. Even if they ain't care much for me. Alright. Man. So now what's my journal say? Now the power's off, you should have an easier time convincing the Zerg to come. Okay, so maybe I can use diplomacy to tell them to go back, but the problem is I'm going to tell them to go back, and they're going to be, like, severely punished. You know, corp the corporate don't mess around. Uh, damn it. Okay. Let's also switch to my... Oh, I have a grenade launcher. I haven't used that yet. Let's try it out. Yeah. Okay. How do we get out of this freaking confusing place? This way? Ah, oh, it's so confusing. Wait, I think it's this way. Yeah, okay. Does that say exit? Yeah, okay. Because you can't, uh, I wish you could fast travel, when you're, but I don't think you can when you're in buildings. Which is kind of annoying. Alright, turn this up a little bit. It's too much. Oh, let's drink to that decision. This has been a long day. 15 hour work day, non-stop. And uh, it's super late. I should be going to sleep because tomorrow's going to be busy too. But, man, I wanted to play some Outer Worlds. I didn't play any games last night. I was just super tired. All right, I'll stop complaining. Let's play Outer Worlds. So, yeah, I'm hoping... I don't know. I don't know if this is the right decision. The, the thing is, there are a lot of people in Edgewater. You know what I mean? So it's almost like the good of the many type thing in Wrath of Khan Star Trek. Uh, they outweigh the needs of the few. You know, that quote. I nailed it. Uh, okay, so let's go talk to the deserters and tell them I'm sorry? I sold you out, you guys. I sold you out. Alright. Also, Extra Life Charities going on right now, so I actually have that on because they're doing auctions. So... Uh, chances are, if you're seeing this video, uh, I'm not I'm not bidding on anything because I am uh, I am going to bid probably on some stuff for the charity and for some sweet stuff. If I find something good, I'm hoping they have musical instruments. Uh, last year, Game Informer had this sweet guitar I missed out on. I didn't have the money for it, but it was like a signed by Van Halen. And like I don't know, it's cool. Anyway, I'm drunk and babbling. All right. Oh, they're all gathered. Mm. Let's go to the marker first. Oh, it's all red. Hello? Adelaide? That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. 
Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. Okay. This is all you're doing. She's taking it well. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. Yeah. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? <sighs> Needs his people back. Not, I need your power regular. I don't like, uh... Go back home? You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Okay. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Comes now. Look power. them in the eye and tell them their life here is over. They should and say, the only thing I left have to do the is power. go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. Okay, talk to Grace and Thomas. You tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. Oh. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Okay. Uh, I'll deal with Reed. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? Well, I didn't say that. There's some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done. I'm not gonna kill the guy, Are I don't you think. You're just looking for a chance to sow some chaos. Kill Reed if you must. Uh, whoa, 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 if you can. Who said anything about he and killing? I are not sharing the same four walls together. Damn, I said I'd talk to him, girl. Yeah, help me out. Let's let's try diplomacy. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Hmm. Three square meals for every man and woman this, in Edgewater. I wonder if I really can do this. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me. And I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. I mean... The secret is I've human going... corpses. Oh. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Wow, okay. Do your people know about this? Uh, you think the Vince Reed stepped down? It's disgusting. What happens when you run out of corpses? It's a good question, but uh, is that going to help? I have got a means to cure the plague. And I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Yeah, they keep talking about a plague, but I think no it's actually just the flu. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Anything else? Look at that. The snakes come back. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, let's talk to some people. Grace and Thomas, I think it was? Who's this? This is a regular deserter. What happened? Sprat fell in. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. His voice sounds so familiar. You won't survive the fence, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I That's get a good beer. I'm sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. It's strong, too. I'm such a lightweight. I had, I had another beer before this that was like 9.5%. Uh. <sighs> I used to not be a lightweight. Anyway, I got sick thinking about working at the camera. I can't do that again. Yeah. You be an engineer, bro. You know something? I Follow think you're Follow your right. heart. That's what the I do. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. <clears throat> I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. Oh. It's just... Adeline's never going to forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. So is this one of those things where, like, your choices are, like, ends up being, like, either Reed's going to die or Adelaide? Leave Adelaide behind. Edward needs you. No. Adelaide hates Edgewater. Hates everything Edgewater stands for. Obviously. Hates what that town does to people. What it did to her. We're the nearest she's got to kin. We go back to Edgewater, we may as well have stuck a knife in her heart. Okay. I'm gonna say... I'll try diplomacy? You know where to find me. Alright, bro. I'm not gonna say leave Adelaide behind. Yet. I should be able to pass, because I've been going all into, like, dialogue and speech, so... 
if it's feasible that this can be done, I think I should be able to. Plus, I got a bunch of stuff I could take to augment myself with better speech. Sorry, uh, I'm just trying to figure out. Okay. Let's see that in case we blow it. I'm also trying not to save scum too much. I haven't really been, honestly. I can't promise that I won't, though. Marauders can't see us in the dark. <clears throat> Wild canids, on the other hand. Okay, let's go back. Grace. She has a good name, too. Grace Romero. I like that name. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. I wish it would show you what updated. We're gonna have to make our peace with Thompson and hope he takes us back. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not gonna forgive us. She never talked to us again. I can't believe I'm siding with corporate. Oh, I feel so dirty. Leave it behind. Thomas told me the same thing. Edgewater's not just a town to Adelaide. It's a symbol of everything that's wrong with this colony. Yeah, a she's big, going down with the ship, I think. A metal and gears, grinding workers down to dust. We're the closest thing Adelaide's got to a family. We go back to Edgewater, she's gonna feel betrayed. She's basically Karl Marx communist manifesto manifested. Uh, I'll try talking to Reed. Sure, suit yourself. I'll be here. So maybe I can do this with diplomacy? I, I, dude, I so want to press the right trigger right now and just, just send a bomb right here. Just watch all these mofos fly. But I'm not gonna. Okay. Well, what do you have to say about this, Pravardi? Anything? Something you. No. Okay. So let's check our quest update. Now the power's off. You should use your attack of hitting. Adelie refused. Uh, okay, they both, they actually both want to. Interesting. Right, right, right. So, optional, remove read from Edgewater. Ooh, I wonder if I can spread false information to corporate and have him cut out. Although, honestly, it might be, they might send someone even worse. Because Reed, he didn't seem that bad. Obviously, there's more going on here. I'm sure he's bad, but he came off fairly reasonable. All right, we're gonna talk to him. We're gonna talk to him. Slices, dices, cauterizes. Yeah, you can raise your dodge and unlock a forward dodge, which actually sounds really cool, but I have barely touched any combat. Like, I think my block is like six or something. The only thing I kind of raised was was uh, like one-handed, two-handed, just basic range, but not much. And there was a, still a situation where I couldn't pass an intimidate check. I think it was on camera. It was like a 65 or something to intimidate. So that's kind of ridiculous. I don't know if there's a new game plus or something, because getting 65 intimidate at that point in the game where I was, that seems kind of cray-cray. By the way, I apologize if I'm kind of loopy. I'm very tired and a little bit drunk. The perfect time to start recording a Let's Play. Especially in a game where you can make bad choices and feel the repercussions dramatically. Wait, he's over here. This door is usually open. I don't know why it's closed. Wait, the elevator's up there? <clears throat> hmm. That's new. I'm gonna put away my gun. I don't think it changes the dialogue, but I just feel better doing it. One thing that's annoying, by the way, when you put away your gun and then hit like a switch like this, it just automatically brings out your gun. <clears throat> I don't know, it's something little and dumb, but... Alright, let's save it. Yeah. Hello, Reed. I have those TPS reports for you. This is a fine day, friend. 
Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? About that. Uh, they're both saying basically the same thing. Then we are at an impasse. We are. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. He does seem like the lesser of many evils, you know? He, he's not a mustache twirling villain. Okay, change the what this town needs. Your town's a mess. Abernathy asked me to steal medicine for him? Oh, snap. I can totally snitch on Abernathy. Oh, man. Uh, let's try to reason with he's not gonna be he's not gonna be down for that, right? I am a spacer's choice man. Yeah. My father was a spacer's choice man. And my father Edward before may him. not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer. But it is my home. <laughs> well, I tried. Oh, I don't have any like diplomacy options to persuade yet. Let's talk about the plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you ever eaten actual vegetable? This town doesn't eat anything with saltuna. Let's talk about vegetables? The very notion is just grotesque. <laughs> a raw vegetable? Why don't you just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree? Damn hippies. We are a spacer's choice saltuna cannery. We eat saltuna here. And only saltuna. I still haven't got any persuade options yet, which is scaring me. Yeah, I like I like a lot of these options. Let me go with that. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food. Itchy feet. But that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. The company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us. So the company well, got rid of them the company shut down the has said a lot of things, my friend. Ooh, there we go. Persuade. Only ten? Nice. I mean, I'm telling them the truth. I bet I could bribe them. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Well, about that. I could lie. Let's lie. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people, you don't need to worry about the details, dude. You know, let me and worry she about that. This office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Yes. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. He's leaving. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Although I'm kind of scared, who's going to replace him, guys? I ain't even lying about that. What are your plans, bro? Will I see you again? I think I kind of miss you. I kind of like Reed, dude. I know he's a corporate stooge, kind of, but I'm telling you, it could be a lot worse. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big call. If you ever work retail, you know what I'm saying. Terms. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Why not? No such thing as an honorable resignation. Hmm. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls. Or put in for early retirement. I kind of feel bad for him. I don't know. I could see myself last. He's gonna die. This is a choice between who dies ultimately. I bet you. I, I think there's no way around it. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague, and she knows how to tend to crops. She's what this town needs. You see, he's so reasonable, dude. Like, he actually kind of seems to care about the people. Like, if he if he was totally heartless and selfish, like, he'd be like, no, I don't care about the people. I'm staying where I am. I worked here. But he's, he's kind of being a sacrificial lamb. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. Man, I feel bad for Reed. Adelaide's kind of jerky, although she's doing what she believes is right, but she's being a little more obstinate than he is, if you think about it. Like, she's she's not playing around. If Reed's there, she ain't coming back. Man. I feel bad, oh, dude. Told you I'm leaving. 
Just give me a little while to collect my thoughts. Man, you're not so bad, even though you're the man. Also, <clears throat> this door's still locked. I don't know how to get his key other than like killing him. I tried pickpocketing him off camera, but I always get noticed by these guards. I wonder if I can use an item. What time is it? Yeah, I could try that. Anyway, it's a lot of talking in this episode. Right, because I can't open that. Okay. But I wanted to record because this is a momentous decision, I feel like. He's been removed from Edgewater. Return to Adelaide and tell her the news. Okay, will do. Uh, shave it. Right. Yeah. Can I fast travel from here? Please. Also, there's a glitch. This codec keeps codex keeps updating and saying like the little asterisk saying there's new stuff, but a lot of times it's just a repeat of other of other things. This I've seen this like so many times show up as new, even though it's not. It's annoying. That's one of the most annoying glitches for me as a completionist. Like I hate seeing like the little exclamation marks showing like, oh, you didn't highlight this or look at this yet. And it keeps popping up. And I keep clicking on it because I can't have that there. All right. Well, I think it's going to be an episode, guys. Uh, on the next one, we are... Uh, well, let's see. Let's just talk to her real quick. I might pour myself another beer. By the way, I'm doing After Party as well, a new game uh, that just came out, and I got a day one game pass. Uh, I highly recommend you guys checking that out. I'm loving that so far. Loving it. And it's going to be a short game too, so we're going to play that 100% on camera like we did Oxenfree. And I already like it a lot better than Oxenfree, even though I liked Oxenfree. It's made by the same guys, that's why I keep saying that. Okay. Adelaide. Where are you? Going the wrong way. Does Pavardi say anything about the, what happened? Something you need? Whoa, look at those shadows. Also that glowing ear. and The left ear on people, I've noticed. I used to think it was like the god rays, but even indoors it happens. So it's another weird glitch. Not nearly as bad as the codex thing. Hello? What's that? Look at that. The snakes come back. Yeah, yeah. There, I did your thing, all right? I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. Yeah. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring Thank you. us with one hand, helping us with the other. The board decreased? Here. Why? I'm giving you something to leave us what? be. It's a ransom. You understand, not a reward. Why? Why the board reputation? I gave them power. Is it because I just didn't straight up kill them? Edward's better off with you running the place. I mean, I messed the thing. Guess we're trying to set it right. Wait, hold on. I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom. Uh, wait, I could tell them her to run the place? I made a mess of things. Guess oh, man, I don't know. I don't know if I like her in a leadership role. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater. Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Hmm. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Huh. I'm confused. Like, my reputation went down with the board? Yeah, I don't understand that. Deserters at 100%. They have utter reverence for me. I need some oh. time to gather my personals. Okay, so what's the journal say? Let's see. Botanical Labs now without power. You should be able to sell. Oh, I see. I can take the power regular. Boop. Yeah. All right. Return to my ship. 
that's the next episode captain helping to bring the deserters and edgewater folks back together i hope you rest well on that is this the good thing though all right well thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate it i still don't know if i made the right decision i feel like this is a little morally gray uh that'd be kind of cool if they do that in this game kind of like the witcher although the witcher takes it too far i think it sometimes but uh we're gonna live with our decisions i guess all right you found out power regular okay thank you guys for watching let me know what you think make sure to check out after party and i think i'm gonna have another beer it's a mistake but i'm going to this is a terrible episode thank you guys i'll see you bye